Howdy, y'all. It's time to throw it on over to Jack Ingram for this week's featured artist in his songwriter series. Hit it, Jack. I appreciate that, Ray. Now we're super excited to have the lovely and talented Miss Sonny Sweeney, this time on our Songwriter Series. Her latest album, Provoked, represents a pivotal moment in Sonny's personal life and music career. With a newfound creative freedom, code for new label, this hard-hitting record runs the gamut of lyrical topics from cheating to heartbreaking. Wow. Cheating songs and country music. Nice surprise. Anyway, she's clearly proud of the project, and as well she should be. I'm fan of her. We're fans of her music. It's Sunny Swing. Gonna line my eyes. Gonna paint them black. Gonna lose my red lipstick to a whiskey glass. I want one of those nights that goes on for days. I'm in a bad girl face. My newest record, Provoked, we had already picked out songs, like all the songs we were going to put on it. And then my producer came with that song, and he said, I think you're going to like this song. He brings it in, he played one verse and one chorus, and I said, is that song available? Because if it's not, I'm totally upset with you right now. And he's like, no, it is. It was immediately stuck in my head, and I wanted to record it from the very first time I heard it. For my first record, which was called Heartbreakers Hall of Fame, I recorded it in San Antonio with Tommy Dudamore and Tom Lewis. And then I made my second record um, in Nashville with a guy named Brett Beavers. And his engineer that he worked at his studio was named Luke Wooten. And Luke and I became really, really close friends. So when it came time to pick a producer for my third record, I like immediately kind of in my mind went towards Luke because I knew Luke was starting to produce and stuff instead of just doing engineering and mixing and stuff. And so I thought, this would be a really cool collaboration, maybe, if he'd be into it. And so, as it turns out, he had called my manager about it. So Luke and I ended up working together, and he's so amazing. Do you ever think before you speak, or was that an insult intentionally? You talk to me without an invitation, make it an awkward conversation. Too bad your big mouth never came with words to say what you really meant. compliment it's kind of a story about things that people say to you that are so rude and they don't even mean to be rude and then they walk off and it leaves you perplexed where you just go was that rude or were they complimenting me because you really don't know I don't know you I don't miss you was written probably like 2008-ish, somewhere in there, by me and Ashley Monroe and Angelina Presley. It was my manager's idea to actually put it as a duet with Will Hogue. And uh, he mentioned duet, and I kind of was like, eh, I don't know about a duet. But then I said, who would you get? And he said, Will Hogue. And he, as soon as he said that, because Will and I have been friends for years, and we've written and stuff, and I just, I never imagined that as like a collaboration. and so. When he said that, I go, if you can get him, then I'm in. I'll totally do it as a duet. And so two or three days later, he was in the studio recording it. It was awesome, and it completed it for me. Like having creative freedom as an artist is very, very important. I pretty much have started my new record already too and it's going in a different direction even than where this last one was. 
That's the fun part about being an artist. You don't have to do the same thing over and over and over. One